Hello and welcome to the news in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 2 of 2020 on the amendment of Paragraph 1 of Article 8 of the Charter of the Organisation of Islamic Cooperation, the OIC. Article 1 of the law stated the amendment of Paragraph 1 of Article 8 of the Charter of the OIC, which was ratified in accordance with Resolution 44.3t, issued at the 44th session of the Council of Foreign Ministers, had an Abdijan on July 10th to 11th, 2017. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Gulf Cooperation Council Secretary General, Dr. Najaf bin Fala Al Hajraf in presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King congratulated Al Hajraf upon his appointment, wishing him and members of General Secretariat success in their duties. His Majesty hailed the important achievements made in the Joint Gulf Action March that meet the aspirations of GCC countries and people and establish the pillars of regional and international security and stability. His Majesty the King thanked the previous GCC Secretary General, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, for his efforts in supporting the GCC March. Al Hajraf expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty, affirming the keenness to exert all efforts for the development and enhancement of the partnership and cooperation between GCC countries. The meeting also included a discussion of a number of Gulf matters. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, accompanied by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the wedding of Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa in Rifa. His Majesty the King congratulated Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and his son on the occasion, wishing Sheikh Mohammed a happy married life. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the congratulations and kind sentiments, wishing him abundant health and happiness.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 1 of 2020, appointing the current Communication and Awareness Director at the Industry, Commerce and Tourism Sec Ministry, Sinan Ali Nasser, as Director of Facilities and Services at the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, BTEA. Under the edict, Ali Ahmed Abdullah Dev was appointed as Human and Financial Resources Director at BTEA. Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister shall implement the edict which takes immediate effect and will be promulgated in the official gazette. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also issued Edict 2 of 2020, appointing Ismat Jaffa Akbar Ali as Director of the National Framework Operations at the Education and Training Quality Authority, the BQA. BQA's Board of Directors Chairman shall implement the edict which takes immediate effect and will be promulgated at the official gazette. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gdebia Palace. Following the meeting, the Cabinet Secretary General, Dr Yasser bin Isa Al Nasser, made the following remarks. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the constructive efforts made by the Ministry of Interior and Judicial Authority to implement the provisions of the Penal Code on alternative sentencing, noting the positive impact it has had on Bahraini society. The Cabinet then commended the joint efforts made between various entities, taking the necessary precautionary measures to safeguard the Kingdom from the coronavirus disease. These include measures taken by the Ministry of Interior in coordination with the Ministry of Health to ensure the safety of the Kingdom's entry points. The Cabinet noted the importance of the ongoing efforts to ensure the continued health and safety of the Kingdom's citizens and residents. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then welcomed the newly appointed Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, wishing him success in his role in serving the Kingdom and its citizens. His Royal Highness further noted the achievements and contributions made by Her Majesty the King's advisor and diplomatic affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, in strengthening Bahraini diplomatic efforts while Ministers of Foreign Affairs. A number of submissions, memorandums and proposed laws were discussed during the meeting. The Cabinet approved a recommendation submitted by the Civil Service Council, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, on downsizing the organisational structures of four ministries and government authorities by cancelling and merging departments, changing the names and cancelling administrative positions. The Cabinet decided to form a committee to determine the educational level of 77 graduates in order to decide if they need to complete their education within the Kingdom or beyond it. It also approved 10 medical degrees from qualified universities with approved clinic timings in order that the students in question are to be able to complete the residency requirements and apply for the medical license exams. The Cabinet directed by the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Finance and National Economy to provide the necessary budget to complete the requirements to attest medical degrees from universities in China. It further entrusted the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to coordinate with relevant authorities in China to ensure a mechanism is put in place to issue study visas for Bahraini students who wish to continue their studies in China with recommended and approved universities only. The Cabinet also directed the Minister of Finance to coordinate with the National Committee for the Evaluation of Academic Qualifications to update the list of recommended degrees from various universities in China and approved a recommendation submitted by the Council of Representatives in this regard. The Cabinet referred a recommendation submitted by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to rename various industrial areas affiliated with the Ministry to the Government Executive Committee. The Cabinet approved a draft law amending the trademark law regulations within the GCC in accordance with constitutional and legal procedures and adopted by the GCC. 
The Cabinet approved a draft law ratifying an agreement between the Government of Bahrain and the Swiss Confederation on the elimination of double taxation with regard to income, capital taxes and prevention of tax evasion. The Cabinet approved an MOU between the governments of Bahrain and Pakistan on cooperation to combat drug trafficking and smuggling, authorising the relevant minister to sign it. The Cabinet approved an MOU between the Bahrain News Agency and Pakistan's Associated Press. The Cabinet referred an MOU submitted by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments between the Kingdom's National Committee for International Humanitarian Law and Egypt's National Committee on International Humanitarian Law to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. The Cabinet approved a proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives to establish a national observatory to monitor the implementation of the rights of persons with disabilities under the Ministry of Labour and Social Development, mandating the Ministry to implement the proposal. The Cabinet approved a proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives to ensure that the Ministry of Electricity and Water Affairs considers increasing the maximum period of time for the financial debts projected on the bills of low-income families and to those families whose caretakers have passed away and entrusted the Minister of Electricity and Water to coordinate with the Minister of Labour on this issue. The Cabinet reviewed a report submitted by the Minister of Industry regarding the participation in Biban Riyadh which recently took place in Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received Council of Representatives Speaker Fazia bin Abdullah Zainal and Shira Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Asale at His Royal Highness's Majesty's in Gadebia Palace. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of continuing to strengthen cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities in order to further realise the Kingdom's wide ranging development goals and meet the needs of Bahraini citizens under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness highlighted that the Kingdom continues to implement forward looking citizen centric development strategies that ensure wider diversification across the Kingdom sectors and the provision of quality opportunities for Bahrainis. Speaking about the importance of higher education, His Royal Highness noted that Bahraini students will continue to receive support to pursue their academic ambitions, underscoring the importance of enrolling in recommended universities. His Royal Highness thanked Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, and members of the Council of Representatives for their efforts in addressing the issue of Bahraini human medicine students enrolled at Chinese universities. His Royal Highness reiterated that Bahrain remains vigilant in light of the global outbreak of the coronavirus disease, COVID-19, and continues to implement preventative measures that ensure the safety of citizens and residents. For their part, the Council of Representatives Speaker and the Shura Council Chairman expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness for support of enhanced cooperation between the executive and legislative branches. The meeting was also attended by Deputy Prime Ministers, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Abdullah Nas, as well as a number of other senior officials.
Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received members of the Berean Business Women's Society, the BBS board, as well as its present and former presidents at the headquarters of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW in Rifa, to mark the Society's 20th anniversary. Her Royal Highness praised the efforts of the founders of the BBS, who were the first in the Gulf to form such an organisation in the field of business and the efforts of the organisation since then in enhancing the economic and social status of businesswomen in Bahrain and in contributing to business and investment activities in the country. Her Royal Highness also praised the economic achievements of Bahraini women through their contributions to public and private sector organisations and said that the SCW is keen on helping them to become internationally competitive. Her Royal Highness was then briefed by the President of the Bahrain Business Women's Society, Alam Janahi, on the various activities of the organisation. He expressed thanks and appreciation for the support of Her Royal Highness, citing her many contributions as Honorary President since the establishment of the Society in 2000. Other presentations detailed Bahraini women's economic achievements by its numbers through the participation in various activities, including the elections of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the field of business investment. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received the Executive Secretary of the Economic and Social Commission for Western Asia, Eskra, Rola Dasti, at the Supreme Council for Women's headquarters in Rifa. Her Royal Highness expressed appreciation for the role in Eskwa in supporting national and regional development projects that support women's progress and said that the SCW is keen on enhancing its cooperation with the Eskwa to that end. Her Royal Highness also appreciated the organisation's adoption of the SCW's metrics for gender balance and its reference to Bahrain's experience in this field when working with other GCC countries. Her Royal Highness expressed confidence in the abilities of Dashti in achieving the objectives of her organisation in promoting cooperation between itself and various organisations in the region and in introducing such experiences to the world. For her part, Dashti praised the progress that Bahrain is experiencing in the field of sustainable development, as well as its efforts of the SCW, headed by Her Royal Highness, which has referred to the Bahraini example as a role model regionally and internationally. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, also received the chairwoman of the Bahrain Trust Foundation, Fatima Ali Belushi along with members of the organisation at the SCW's headquarter in Rifa. During the meeting, Al Belushi presented the mission and objectives of her organisation, which focus on meeting the needs of society domestically and internationally through economic empowerment, education and the development of handicrafts. Her Royal Highness praised the mission and objectives of the Bahrain Trust Foundation, which she said is a national duty that preserves the values of society, including solidarity and social cooperation. Her Royal Highness also praised the government's directives in this field through its encouragement of volunteer work, which he said has become an important item on the resumes of job seekers and is one of the pillars of social development. A workshop under the title Data Exchange between UN Agencies and Government Authorities, Institutional Arrangements, Methodologies and Best Practices was held at His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's Court, organised by the National Committee for Information and Population, led by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Matawa, in cooperation with the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for West Asia, ESQA, with the participation of representatives from various government bodies. Al Matawa affirmed Bahrain's commitment to and support of the efforts of the international community to achieve sustainable development goals, noting 
that the workshop will discuss one of the most important topics for the government, which is improving data exchange between government authorities and UN organisations. He stated that Bahrain began the process of implementing the goals of sustainable development and facilitating the procedures of providing international organisations with the outcome of its work and obtained indicators and data. Amatawa added that the mechanism had been explained in detail in the first voluntary national review on sustainable development goals. For her part, the Executive Secretary of ESQA, Rola Dashti, stated that Bahrain adopts a system that requires constant development to achieve advanced levels in data and information dissemination. For his part, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Sheikh Dr Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, stated that the workshop comes within the framework of the outcome of the committee's efforts, aimed at continuing the implementation of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. I think this workshop is uh, of paramount importance. Uh, it is uh, much necessary. Rel uh, similar activities are happening in other countries and it's very, very timely for Bahrain to be thinking together with the United Nations of improved ways not only to produce data and statistics on sustainable development, but also to coordinate the mechanisms that uh, have to be set in place for, the, uh, for making available that data. The Ministry of Education organised a national celebration on the occasion of the 19th anniversary of the National Action Charter in the presence of the Minister, Dr Majid al Nuemi, a number of officials and a number of the Ministry's affiliates and members. The celebration witnessed a number of activities and shows which showcased students' creativity in addition to showcasing Bahraini heritage. The Ministry organised a car carnival and students marched with the participation of 4,000 students. Dr al Nawemi affirmed the Ministry's keenness towards the celebration, which affirms the feelings of loyalty towards the country and allegiance to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He praised His Majesty's role in elevating the education march in the Kingdom. The Minister added that the Ministry follows the Royal Directives that aim to enhance the Bahraini identity, consolidate the values of nationalism and belonging. The Labour Market Regulatory Authority, in cooperation with the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, opened the Labour Cases offices. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. The inauguration of Labour Case offices aims to protect workers' rights and support them, following the government directives to facilitate procedures and enhance coordination among government bodies to resolve labour cases through the facilitation of a number of services related to filing lawsuits against employers. A kind of closer proximity to the, to the labour uh, and instead of coming to the Ministry of Justice, you will have other options. Uh, now we have three places all over the kingdom that, he, the, that they can file their cases. Not only this, uh, the LMRA, uh, I would like to, to present my thanks to Mr. Osama Absi because he already allocated the lots of employees to help uh, any uh, worker who is coming here to file a case and he doesn't know how to present his papers or how to represent his case. So uh, all of these things were uh, very fundamental and I think this kind of uh, uh, complementarity between different uh, uh, bodies and the government to, to help uh, workers to present their case to help.